Hello students, in our last video we have already discussed the separating the components of a mixture. But we have discussed how we will separate the mixture that is immiscible mixture. You know what is immiscible mixture? Immiscible mixture is that mixture which substance, two substances cannot mix together. Okay, and miscible substances are those substances in which two substances are mixed together completely. We can we cannot distinguish or determine well which material or which substance is present into it. So today we will start how can we separate a mixture of two miscible liquids. Okay. So the separation is based upon the difference in boiling points of the constituent present. Okay. For example, if two mixtures are there that are uh, water and alcohol or water and acetone. Okay. Now what will happen? These mixtures are completely mixed together. We cannot distinguish which mixer, which constituent is present in them. So we can separate them by the distillation method. And distillation is two types that is simple distillation and fractional distillation. Now simple distillation can be used if the liquid differ to the boiling points by 25 Kelvin or more. Okay. And what is distillation? Distillation is the process of converting a liquid into its vapors by heating and the subsequent condensation of vapors back into the original liquid. It is used for the separation of components of a mixture containing two miscible liquids that boil without decomposition and have sufficient difference in the boiling points. Now what is the principle of distillation method? Principle is there the separation of two miscible liquids is based on the difference in their boiling points. More volatile that is low boiling point. So component distills over first while the less volatile component distills over afterwards. Now the boiling temperature of acetone is 319 Kelvin while that of water is 373. So the separation can be done in the distillation flask by distillation method. For example, if I will take that component acetone, it consists 319 Kelvin and water 373. We will minus it. Now we can see how much difference is there. 13, uh, 4 is there, then 6 out of 6, 1, then 5. So we will get 54. So 54 Kelvin we have. It means it is more than 25 Kelvin. So we can separate this mixture by using distillation or simple distillation method. Now I would like to explain the activity based on the distillation process to separate a mixture of two miscible liquids using distillation. This, uh, this will consist the mixture of acetone and water. Now let us try to separate a miscible liquid mixture of acetone and water. Take the mixture in the distillation flask. This is a distillation flask and fit it with a thermometer. So we will fit a thermometer here. Now heat the mixture slowly keeping a close watch at the thermometer. We will heat with the burner. Okay. Now heat that mixture slowly. After that what we will see? The acetone vaporize condenses in the condenser. And it will be moved towards the condenser here and can be collected from the condenser outlet. So this is water outlet is there. So condenser outlet. So it will be collected and water is left behind the distillation 
flask here. Distillation flask consists of water that is left and that to condensed uh, acetone will be moved and it will be collected in the receiver. This is a receiver. Now what will happen if we will do this activity? So what are the observations? When the mixture of acetone and water is heated in distillation flask, the vapors of the low boiling liquid that is acetone. You know that I have already told you the acetone has 56 degree Celsius temperature. Okay. And it will be 329 Kelvin boiling point over there. So it will be first acetone will be uh, vaporized and these vapors of acetone pass through the condenser. This is the condenser. So these are passed through the condenser and condensed to form liquid acetone. This, this is the liquid acetone. The drops of condensed acetone collect in the receiver attached to the other end of the condenser. This way. This is. This is the another end will be there. And this is known as distillate. So this part is distillate. After that, the boiling point of acetone is less. Therefore, the thermometer reading becomes constant at 329. And when the acetone is boiled, after that, water is left in the distillation flask. And what is the conclusion? The conclusion is there. The separation of the component of a mixture containing miscible liquids Acetone and water can be separated by distillation because the two miscible liquids boil without decomposition and have sufficient difference in their boiling points. That may be above than 25 degree, 25 Kelvin or it may be degree Celsius also. Okay, so more than 25. So we will use this distillation method that is also known as simple distillation. Subscribe to Aria Academy and press the bell icon and don't forget to hit the like button.